So guys, the trip has started and I'm almost uh, at the target, at the destination. Uh, behind me you can see something, there's a golf court. Um, this golf court is also not, uh, has not been here when I was growing up. So this one was just uh, coming there around, oh, was it? Was it in the late 90s or the early 00s? Zero well, but I'm remembering that uh, also one of the big guys in golf was also playing there. And in the background you was always seeing the train or the actually the uh, regional uh, shuttle that's going there on the rails. So, yeah. Anyway, but right now I'm still making it very exciting and I can just tell you that I'm very close. Maybe it's uh, a quarter hour to walk, but I will be there pretty soon. So, well, let's keep the excitement. Uh, well, behind me is the, the uh, I'm thinking it's the, the restaurant of this golf court. Just wondering because of the flags. There is one flag uh, about the federal state of Baden-Württemberg and there's the German flag and there's the Ukrainian flag. Um, I'm now curious if only we Germans are this crazy. Uh, how about in the United States of America? Or maybe in Switzerland. I mean, I'm knowing Desert Walker and uh, Deco Clio forgot your name, how can this happen, uh, that you guys uh, are living in the United States and in Switzerland. So maybe you can tell me, is this only a phenomenon in Germany that the Ukrainian flag is even on uh, such kind of state buildings? Anyway, I'm just taking here this little walk and I'm curious uh, to where it's going. So just take a look here. So here's a little, oh, a little wall, and I hope that this is leading me to the right way now because I'm now a little bit unsure. <laughs> but we will see. And well, guys, this little way was really leading me into the right direction. But I'm just right now at uh, somewhere where it's not. Where I wanted to be because I was expecting to get to the ruins of the Nippenberg, but this is the uh, the palace, or actually this is more likely the um, the barn of it. But well, now it's uh, there's a company located. But well, guys, so stay excited because soon I will be there, and so right now you can still see all the uh, timber construction here. So this is the barn. And I'm thinking that uh, this is the new palace that was uh, built afterwards because there has been a medieval um, castle. But uh, there was something that I was telling you once before about um, well, castles that are ruins. Uh, not always it was becoming a ruin because of, uh, well, French guys. <laughs> so well now I need to figure out a way to get actually to the other side because the castle ruin is on the other side of this palace but here you can see so we are here at the Nippenberg. Well so sometimes it can happen that things are changing and I cannot remember that there has been a way on this side of the palace and yeah <laughs> so I'm pretty much at the wrong part of it but I'm pretty sure that I'm or pretty confident that I'm finding the correct way to the castle ruin. Well, I noticed there is not a way around, so maybe I was pretty much wrong about that. Maybe it's a new way, because the last time I've been here is at least 20 years ago. Ah, not really 20 years. I mean, I was 
here once before uh, when I was already the battlefield doctor. So in 2007 or 2008, I've been here the last time. So that's not 20 years from now. But well, guys, I'm now thinking that now I am at the right way because this is something that's looking more familiar to me now. So actually this here is the new palace, not the other building that I've seen before. So here you can also see this is also a building, one building of the, well, I have not checked up what Hofgut is meaning, but the Hofgut was actually the other thing. But right now we are here at the historic part of uh, this uh, area around the castle of Nippenburg. And here, this is the palace of the Nippenburg. It was also uh, built up from stones of the castle ruin. I can remember back in the old days there has been also a writing. Ah, it is here. That is really difficult to read because it's an old German. So now take a look here. Wilhelm Wo Friedegoft about this house got Falsing Fort. I have no idea what this means. So guys the old German is something I cannot speak. It is way different of nowadays German. So using a time machine is not really <laughs> very useful because most likely you will not understand what the people are saying even if you're from around the place. But well guys you can see now there is something about the uh, the castle ruin. So this is a castle that was not getting destroyed by the French dudes during the uh, 30 year, years long uh, war. This was just teared down by the Baron who was living here, who was thinking, no, well, I don't need the castle from my ancestors. I want to live in a palace. So just over there. And he was also kind enough, at least that's what I was reading, uh, he was kind enough to also give the stones or let them be available for the people in the village around here. So here is no water, we are also very much uphill. As a child I've been also here a few times and well we always had uh, all the green stuff around here. But now let's go in. So behind me here, this, this guys is an old barn and this one was also built up from stones of this castle ruin. I'm also loving this old uh, gate and yeah. So it's also really interesting to see this midi medieval stuff. And yeah, so we'll just take a look around the barn. So everything here is just uh, looking uh, like, well, well, similar kind of at, like at the monastery when everything was a ruin. So, oh, I'm just seeing here was a window. I can remember about that in my childhood that you could actually look what's inside but so now they are doing more excitement so well here just behind me this is still the barn so and here we are having the entrance of this medieval wall here but we can also see here's also a wall there's a wall that was getting teared down. So guys, when you're seeing it, can you imagine what was happening here with all the knights and the stuff here, the Baron who was living around here. 
just keeping in mind it was tilted down by the owner so this was not so this was not just uh, well this was not tilted down by a wall if I am remembering right there was also something interesting behind of that thing but maybe I'm wrong and it is actually inside of the area of the castle oh, look at these trees here it's also of course very old guys oh, well I need to get to the inside to see more so I need to get to there and well so behind me by the way it's going down there as a child I was once riding the bike of my fellow and I fell over it but the bike was still alright me as well but my parents <laughs> didn't know about that that I had a little accident there uh, and I've read not 100% certain now, but I'm thinking I've read something that there was actually also a witch living back in the old days. Ooh, spooky guys! <laughs> so here is the barn building. I was just hearing a thunder. <laughs> Hopefully it's not coming as a thunderstorm. And yeah, here. Yeah. So here we are at the castle ruin of Nippenburg. So what stands there? So in memory of Helmut Tyro. Uh, he has planted. No, there was a, a tree getting planted for him. Yeah, so this guy was someone we spend lots of energy and money into getting the thing here restored as so it's a tourist spot now. So right here there's a little door. Don't know what's under it. So here we are in a little chamber and like it's about like it was usual so the knights could just take a look there so if someone was there then they could just say hey stop and that's it <laughs> because i don't think that you can do a lot more but maybe this only has been a storage here This here is, as far as I can remember, called to be the Tree of God. This tree can also survive everywhere. And it's just uh, randomly popping up, like as uh, here, in the corner here. They can be really a problem sometimes. But they are really beautiful, in my opinion. <laughs> Thank you.